Today, I'm here to propose two digital marketing tactics appropriate for the Roxy Theatre in relation to your buyer persona, being an Instagram revamp and the addition of community events. The primary buyer persona identified is Caitlin, a 14-year-old student from Nowra whose primary goals include spending time with friends outside of school and staying up to date with pop culture to maintain her position as the primary influencer of her friendship group. Instagram is one of her favourite social platforms and she primarily engages it with video content. To recap the accompanying report, the proposed digital marketing objectives included implementing a consistent Instagram posting schedule, increasing social media engagement, and increasing the proportion of both user-generated and video-based content. Of the six overarching strategies identified, the two I'd like to focus on today include collaboration and conversations. Together, these strategies will help the Roxy move away from being a promotional platform into a social one, while encouraging community building, the production of user-generated content, and two-way dialogue between the brand and buyer persona. The first tactic is a complete Instagram revamp in line with industry best practices and the example set by market leaders, event cinemas, and Hoyts Australia. This tactic will address both strategies as well as objectives one, two, and four. One of the biggest social media advantages is relationship investment. To develop and maintain a relationship with your audience, you need to produce content that is relevant and customised to your buyer persona. As we've learnt from Caitlin, this primarily includes interactive and video content. Engagement can also be enhanced through an appropriate tone of voice, which encourages two-way conversations. As you can see, there were a number of issues identified with the Roxy's current Instagram account, from a poorly chosen profile image to a lack of content variety. In response, I've created a mock-up to demonstrate how the implementation of strategies and best practices should look, starting with the profile itself. This involved updating the profile image with a refreshed Roxy logo, adding a page name for ease of identification, removing the seniors discount promotion as this is not relevant to our buyer persona, including a brand-specific hashtag to encourage user-generated content, and requesting verification to identify the brand as an official source. On the slide, you'll see the three content types deemed most appropriate for the Roxy. Firstly, still images, such as the Dine and Discover voucher announcement, which is both informative and relevant to our buyer persona. Secondly, Instagram stories, which allow the buyer persona to, be, to more creatively engage with the brand through polls, quizzes, and questions. Lastly, IGTV videos, which can easily be categorized and included in both the main grid and IGTV tab to maximize exposure. Currently, the majority of captions shared in the last year follow the same basic format of movie title now showing at the Roxy. Much like the type of content shared, this comes across extremely promotional and without much consideration of the buyer persona, who we've identified as being motivated by language such as be the first to see, as demonstrated in the second image. Similarly, the existing posts fail to acknowledge the few comments that have been received, a trend even more noticeable on Facebook. To achieve the conversation strategy, the Roxy must acknowledge user contributions. I've also noted that there is an absence of hashtag use throughout the profile, which is a key factor in increasing visibility and connecting to Caitlin. Finally, posting consistency will be achieved through the integration of scheduling tools, such as Facebook's free Creator Studio, which allows you to create and schedule content across both Facebook and Instagram. Otherwise, Sked, Social and Leader both offer great paid alternatives. The implementation of this tactic will positively impact both the collaboration and conversation strategies through fostering relationships, driving engagement, and building a strong brand reputation. Similarly, it will address the objectives through the incorporation of scheduling tools and an increase in engagement and video-based content. Finally, by sharing movie trailers via IGTV, there would be no need for Caitlin to leave the platform prior to purchasing tickets. Hence, she's more likely to stay on the platform and continue engaging with the brand. The second tactic is a live community event that will encourage increased engagement and the production of user-generated content. Hence, this tactic will address the collaboration strategy and objectives two and three. For large and small businesses alike, there are countless benefits to hosting an event. You can showcase your product or service, create buzz within the community, produce exciting content, and generate increased engagement. As identified in our buyer persona, Caitlin's primary goals include spending time with friends outside of school and keeping up to date with the latest trends. 
And so our tactic will achieve each of these through a special retro screening event exclusive to the Roxy. The event proposed is influenced by Greater Union's Chicks at the Flicks and Hoyt's Australia's Girls Night Out, where on the first Tuesday of every second month, the Roxy will screen a cult classic film such as Pulp Fiction or Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Local businesses will be encouraged to apply to hold a stall on the night, and although ticket prices will be slightly above that of a standard screening, each will come with a free sponsored gift pack. I propose calling the event Roxy's Retro Night. The event will be initially promoted via Facebook through the creation of an event page, but will also be shared on Instagram as both a feed post and Instagram story. The current slide contains a prototype of the Facebook event, including the monthly screening selection, the ability for sponsors to be added as co-hosts, and a discussion tab to encourage conversation by attendees. The event description will also include a synopsis of the chosen film, as well as a list of all participating stallholders. The successful implementation of this tactic will drive social media engagement in several ways. Firstly, by promoting the event with film-specific hashtags, fans of the monthly movie will be targeted and exposed to the promotional material. Businesses who are participating in the event as either a sponsor or a storeholder will also likely share mutually beneficial content on their own pages, thereby reaching a wider audience. Finally, through the addition of a photo wall at the venue and a predetermined event hashtag, the Roxy can encourage user-generated content, which can then be reshared on their own social pages. Finally, relating the content back to Caitlin. One of the key characteristics identified in her buyer persona was her desire to remain up to date with pop culture and fashion. Currently, there is a growing trend towards the implementation of retro and vintage elements in clothing, media, and design. And so, even though these films may be old and available on streaming sites, it's the experience of engaging with them in this new way that will appeal to her. This event would allow her to dress the part to fully immerse herself in the night's theme while spending time with her friends in an environment her parents are comfortable with her being unsupervised at night. In summary, this tactic will achieve the collaboration strategy through promoting relationship building, the creation of user-generated content and social media engagement. As a result, it will also contribute to both our engagement and user-generated content objectives. Finally, through its promotion as an exclusive retro experience, it caters towards Caitlin's primary goals as an influencer, customer, and consumer. Thanks for watching.